Hi guys, my name is Raleo. Welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to be reading Little People, Big Dreams. Charles Darwin, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegata, illustrated by Mark Hoffman. Little Charles lived with his family in Shrewsbury, England, at a time when people didn't know much about the secret life of nature. Had worms always crawled in on the ground? He wanted to find out. Back then, many teachers told their students that animals and plants had appeared on Earth all at once, in a blink of an eye. Could this be possible? Somehow, Charles was not convinced. Questioning things was natural for the Darwins. They were a family of scientists who thought outside the box. Charles' grandfather was a well-known plant expert, and his father was a doctor who hoped his son might follow in his footsteps. Charles entered medical school, but he couldn't stand the sight of blood, so he switched subjects. And continued to read and learn all about plants, animals, and nature. One day, he received an invitation to join a scientific expedition to the coasts of Africa, South America, and Australia. The HMS Beagle left port during Christmas in 1831. It was a chance for Charles to see the world and finally study new species. Soon he started noticing how plants and animals changed from place to place. In Brazil, he found the remains of an animal that had lived thousands of years ago and was similar to other mammals he knew well. On the Galapagos Island, he met dozens of families of finches and mockingbirds. Those who ate insects had pointed beaks, while those who loved fruits and curved beaks. What if these species shared the same ancestors? Charles thought. After five years traveling the world, Charles began to realize that plants and animals. Species were not fixed, as everyone thought. He formed the idea that they had slowly changed to adapt to the place in which they lived. Charles was twenty-eight years old when he penned one of the most shocking ideas of his time: that one species changes into another. It was the first step to put down on paper. A revolutionary theory that explained how life on Earth works. Over time, all living beings eventually became new species. This process happens through tiny little changes over thousands of years. We call it evolution, and Charles had just discovered in its secret mechanism. So first, this. This, 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 and then a human. Charles's discovery was called natural selection. Nature rewards those that adapt best to their environment. The fastest rabbit, the smartest fox, or the owl with the best eyesight would survive in the wild and live to make many more animals like them. It took Charles almost a lifetime to collect all his ideas in a book called *On the Origin of Species*. It was one of the most important books ever written, and a fascinating read for anyone who wanted to understand the secret life of nature. And since then, the latest discoveries in science are informed by Charles, the most important naturalist in history. The bold boy who understood that knowledge takes more courage than ignorance, but the truth is always worth it. Charles Darwin, born 
1809, died 1882. Born in a tiny merchant town of Shrewsbury, England, Charles Darwin arrived on February 12, 1809. He quickly fell in love with nature as a young boy, taking long walks on his own to find nature specimens. When he was old enough, he enrolled in medical school, but quickly dropped out to study theology at Cambridge. One of the, his theology professors suggested he pursue his interest in the natural world, recommending him as a companion for the HMS Beagle voyage. Unbeknown to Darwin, this voyage would dramatically change his life as well as the future of scientific thinking. Aboard the Beagle, Darwin discovered a world he could only dream of. Birds with bright blue feet, giant tortoises, and brightly colored fish. He collected plants, animals, and fossils, and filled many notebooks with drawings and notes. During his time on the Galapagos Islands, he studied the beaks of finches. Some of these finches had stout beaks for eating seeds, while others were insect specialists. Darwin soon realized that they all shared a single ancestor, a revolutionary idea at the time. Collecting species from different islands, he discovered that each one had adapted to eat whatever food was available. Returning to England, Darwin knew his ideas would be met with opposition as they challenged religious ideas of his generation. After 20 years of research, he published the continuous but now celebrated book on the origin of species, and it quickly became a bestseller. Still today, Darwin's work gives us insight into the diversity of life on Earth and its origins, including our own as a species. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.